Hello scientists, I'll show you how to draw gastric glands for your research figures. Let's grab the rectangle tool to draw a rectangle. And then uh, grab your direct selection tool and uh, select these two anchor points. Then you'll see these round corner widget will show up, uh, hold it and drag it all the way until this side of the rectangle is fully rounded. Now we need to create the villi. And um, let's grab this and draw a rectangle and also round the corner. And uh, let's put it over here on the flat side of the rectangle and I will make a few copy of it. It may be a little bit more like that, but then you see they are too big. Let me make them thinner and uh, I will I will align this one to the right and align the one on the left all the way to the left. Then we can equally horizontally distribute these uh, villi. Then I'll select everything and zoom out. You can see it. I'll select everything and use the Pathfinder tool to unite all of them. And then let's zoom in to the Villi side and just select these Villi and you see, uh, select these anchor points, then you see we can round them with the round corner widget. So we have the Villi over here on the side. Let's draw a circle as the nucleus. And uh, I'll make it smaller. Line 0 0.5 and I will give it, I'll make the outline gray as usual. Give it a purple and uh, maybe like a lighter one to make it look pleasing to our eyes. I'll make like this, okay. And then I'll group them and go to our drop down menu of the brushes and click on new brush, pattern brush, click OK. And then make sure you remember to change the outer corner tile to auto between and also the inner corner tiles to auto between. Now I'll move the unit over here and I'll make this, I'll remove the fill, I'll select this and make anchor point to smooth so we can have a smooth transition on the anchor points now select the path and then come to your brush panel and click on the brush that you made and you can adjust uh, how you want your folds to be you can make these minor adjustments and here let me see i need to push this part a little bit inward you can also add some anchor points to make the a shape of the epithelium more dynamic. I want to apply gradients into each of the individual uh, gland cells. So it will be a lot of work to do it one by one. I will show you how to do it all together at once. So let's uh, go to object, then expand appearance. So now you see each of the cells has become an individual object. I can ungroup it. Let me ungroup this again. I can select one of the nucleus. I go to select and then go to same and then click on appearance and you see all the nucleus are selected. So now when you apply a radial gradient and you see you apply the purple gradient to all the nucleus at once, the cell body part. And we can do the exact same thing, apply a gradient and I want a lighter orange and then just select same appearance and then apply a radial gradient. Now it looks very black. Let's put a, a light orange in. And you see now uh, you have all the light orange in the cell body. Okay. And there are a few types of cells in the gastric gland. So we can also distinguish them by applying different color into our cells. Remember like, we made a copy of it. This is when it uh, when this path will come in handy. I will remove the pattern brush. I'll make it white so you guys can see what I will be doing. So I'll close this path to make it into a shape. 
then I can give it an orange fill. And when I move it over here and send it underneath. Yeah, so that's done. This is a cut version of my Twitch live stream. I live stream every Sunday and uh, so you can come hang out with me on Twitch. Comment the topic you want to see in the comment section so uh, I can put it up on the poll. Make sure you go to the YouTube community tab. Every Friday I put on a poll to vote for the topic. Thanks to the scientists who suggested this topic. Give a like and subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you in the next video.